Comparison of the Colonial Times to the 21st Century by Cassidy Flory. Teenhood. When the Carolinas formed in 1653, they had a great start until 1730 when the colony split due to war and political issues. Teenhood. My mom, Bo, was born on March 21, 1966. She became a teenager on March 21, 1979, and an adult on March 21, 1986. I became a teenager on March 6, 2010. I will become an adult on March 6, 2016. Childhood location. There were three different regions in South Carolina. There was the Blue Ridge, the Piedmont, and the Coastal Plain. Coastal Plain consisted of swampy areas, soft rocks, and good soil. The Piedmont was rich in rocks, hills, and mountains. The Blue Ridge was worn down with rocks and mountains. My mom lived in Exira, Iowa. Exira is located in southwest Iowa. It is a very hilly area and near Albert the Bull, an old plow stuck in a tree. Clear Lake, Iowa is not a very hilly area. It has a lake which attracts many people in the surf ballroom because of Buddy Holly. Girls didn't normally go to school because they were busy with housework and chores. Kids usually worked on the farm. Most families owned a slave, so kids didn't really have to do too much. My mom had many chores. She had a babysit every day, mow, clean the house, do dishes, and sometimes she had to do the laundry. Chores for me aren't too big. I usually make my bed and pick up my room. The economy in the colonial days wasn't too large. The economy mainly consisted of growing and selling crops and livestock. My mom's parents' main source of income was carpenter and waitress. My grandpa was a carpenter for many years. My grandma worked at a Piccadilly's, a restaurant in Syra. My parents' income is my dad is a city administrator and my mom is the Opportunity Village team leader. In the colonial days, they didn't have cars to take them around places like we do. They got around by a wagon called a constant wagon. These wagons were covered with very detailed designs in them. Those who couldn't afford a wagon walked. My mom's main source of transportation was biking and walking. The most common transportation is a car. If you need to get very long distances, you would take a plane or a train. Change. Most colonial girls had a large change by the time they turned 14. Many wealthy girls didn't get a choice of who they married. They married by the age of 14 and were a mother. They married a man who was much, much older than themselves. The biggest change for my mom was becoming a mother at the age of 18. A big change for me was becoming an aunt. Becoming an aunt was a large adjustment because I had to learn how to hold a baby the right way, make a bottle, and change diapers. Now that I have it, I wouldn't change it for anything. The most common music was an organ. Organ music was very popular to those in an Anglican church. Slaves preserved their musical traditions in slave quarters. My mom's favorite singer was Sean Cassidy. My favorite singers are Luke Bryan, Katy Perry, and Adele. Most common singers are Lady Gaga, Adele, Rihanna, Pink, and Katy Perry. English ruler would grant a certain amount of people as a charter or prior proprietors. A charter is someone who is like a governor and helps control the colony. President Ronald Reagan was president in my mother's teenhood. Reagan was shot by John Hinckley. His vice president was George Bush. President Barack Obama took office in 2008. His vice president is Joe Biden.
The crops grown were the most oftenly eaten. Corn, rice, pigs, and food from the ocean were the most popular to be eaten in colonial South Carolina. My mom's favorite meal when she was a teen was homemade pizza. My favorite food is a crispy chicken salad. The most common food is fast food. The most often dessert was Charleston sweet potato pie. Charleston sweet potato pie could be eaten as a, a dessert or a mean dish. My mom's favorite dessert was all, has always been cherry refrigerated dessert. My favorite dessert is my favorite dessert has always been vanilla ice cream or frozen yogurt.